on a stormy night with thunder roaring in a gloomy graveyard. A flash of lightning illuminated a large grave covered with white funeral flowers. On the tombstone, there were the names of the deceased, Alex and Diana. Suddenly from the grave, a ghastly hand emerged, looking terrifying. A lightning bolt struck, revealing the shape of a serpent with glowing red eyes, howling as it emerged from the grave. What terrible fate awaited the young girl? Let's find out with Roll Fairy Tales. On the night of the wedding, the atmosphere at Count Jackie's castle was filled with dazzling lights <laughs> and the lively chatter of the guests. <laughs> Beneath the surface of this grand celebration, a horrifying tragedy was unfolding. Diana, a young and beautiful girl, was being forced to marry a corpse. Huh? That was Alex, the son of the wealthiest count in the region. Please spare me. <clears throat> Since birth, Alex had never enjoyed good health and was often tormented by severe illnesses. The root cause was a serpent had placed a curse on his body, making Alex's life short and fragile, ending in tragedy. This brought great sorrow to Count Jackie and his sister, Bonita. My poor Alex, I will not let you leave this world alone. I will find you a bride. Father, you intend to have Alex marry and be buried with a living person? According to an old legend, if an unmarried man passed away, he would be condemned to suffer in hell. The Count, in his pain over losing his son, did not want Alex to suffer any further. So he ordered this bizarre wedding. Amid the joyful crowd, Diana's desperate eyes continuously sought help from Finn, the man she loved. Finn, save me, please! But Diana had no idea that Finn, with cold <laughs> eyes, had cruelly turned his back on her. Huh? Even worse, he was the one who had deceived Diana into this wedding. Long ago, Finn had betrayed huh? Diana and fallen in love with Benita, the Count's noble daughter. Hmm? You'd better accept your fate. <laughs> you... you will pay for this, you cruel monster! <laughs> The wedding ended, and Diana was tightly bound to the coffin. Her face was crossed as a mark of pain and injustice. Let me out! Let me out! In her final moments before being buried alive with the corpse, Diana's body transformed into a serpent. <gasps> Quickly, bury her now! I will not forgive you all! May you live in misery forever! Her cries echoed in the dark mingling with the fear of the witnesses. Continue burying her! Anyone who slacks off will be punished! <laughs> huh? <gasps> While Diana was buried in injustice and pain, Finn enjoyed a luxurious life beside Benita, <laughs> the Count's noble daughter. Now we have nothing to worry about. It was also part of the cruel plot against Diana. <laughs> the next morning, while Finn was away, Benita huh? was alone at home, engrossed in her makeup in front of the mirror. <laughs> Suddenly, through the mirror, she saw a serpent slithering around the bed with a white bridal veil on its head. Who's there? Startled, Benita turned around but saw nothing. Doubts began to creep into her mind. Benita slowly approached the bed to check. Suddenly, Benita looked up and saw a huge serpent coiled around the ceiling, terrifying her. The scene turned horrific as the serpent, with a furious expression, descended and transformed into a half-human, half-serpent huh? Diana. Give me back my life! Give me back my life! No! No! Spare me! I was wrong! In her rage, Diana didn't care about Benita's pleas and attacked her. <laughs> Benita, darling, I'm home! Mistress! Mistress heads! Finn was horrified to find Benita dead at the dressing table, her face slashed just like Diana's. Was that a sign of vengeance and injustice? After Benita's terrifying death, the 
count was furious and ordered Finn to investigate the case. Finn, you useless fool! Find out what happened! In front of the count, hmm? Finn pretended to be sorrowful and grieving. Hmm. But inside, he was determined to uncover the truth. Finn ordered a thorough search of the house, and during the process, they found many scattered serpent scales. Could it be huh? She had come back huh? for revenge? <gasps> Finn immediately reported to the camp. Both decided to exhume Diana's grave to confirm. <gasps> oh my god! What is this? Dig it up for me! Father, is this really okay? I fear we might disturb the dead. You cow! Just do it! As soon as the grave was unearthed, Thousands of serpents suddenly emerged, wrapping around the Count and his son-in-law, causing them extreme horror. Get away from me! Get away from me! Huh? To everyone's astonishment, Diana's body was missing from the grave, leading them to believe she had returned for revenge. Fear spread widely, and everyone shuddered at the thought of punishment from the afterlife world. After the grave was exhumed, the Count couldn't escape the horrifying memories of the serpents pouring out of the grave. Mm. That night, the Count saw eerie shadows passing by the window. As he approached the window, the room's light suddenly went out, leaving him in darkness. Suddenly, the Count felt an unusual presence. A gigantic serpent appeared right in front of him, causing him to collapse in terror. Get! Get away! Right at that moment, mm. Diana appeared in the form of a serpent with the eyes full of rage. Mm. You will all pay! Diana came closer. Her face was cold and merciless and attacked the Count. The Count collapsed in utter horror, his eyes wide open but lifeless. On his face, a strange cross mark appeared, huh? identical to the one Finn had found on Benita's corpse. The Count's death made the case even more hmm? mysterious. Rumors began to spread throughout the region, with everyone frightened and trembling at what was happening. Diana must have returned. The Count had to pay a too high a price. Now, only Finn lived in the luxurious mansion, but the splendor could not hide the fear in his heart. As night fell, the wind howled through the hallways, creating hmm? ghostly sounds <gasps> like whispers of spirits. In the dense darkness, Diana appeared, <gasps> vanishing and reappearing, hmm? sometimes in the form of a writhing serpent, sometimes as a sorrowful woman. Her eyes burned with the fear of wrath and resentment. <gasps> Diana, why are you here? Why did you betray me, Finn? I trusted you, loved you, yet you pushed me into this hell. Finn knelt down, tears streaming down his face. Please forgive me, Diana. I was wrong. I truly was wrong. Please forgive me. In her fury, ah. Diana moved closer. And at that moment, Finn, taking advantage of her distraction, drew a hidden knife and stabbed her. Diana cried out in pain, her eyes filled with disappointment. <laughs> Why? Mm. Why? I had hoped you would repent. Repent? Why should I repent? Do you know how much effort I put into getting into this position where I am today? Then why did you approach me, make me fall in love with you? From the beginning, I just considered you as a tool to achieve my goals. Don't flatter yourself. So you just used me for wealth and luxury? <laughs> it was all my plan to have you buried alive with Alex. Just a few lies and the Count and his daughter believed me immediately. Such fools. <laughs> Fools don't deserve to exist. It turned out that Finn was the true villain, using Diana's feelings to carry out his cruel schemes against the Count's family. His life after marrying into wealth wasn't happy, but a journey full of suffering and hellish torment. The Count and his daughter constantly belittled and looked down on him, making him feel worthless. You can't even handle such a small task. Don't make me regret agreeing to marry you. Finn gradually grew to hate their arrogance and began to devise a brutal <laughs> plan to overthrow huh? them. Mm. Mm. He disguised himself as Diana, using a hallucinogenic drug on the Count and his daughter. making them lose grip on reality and spiral into madness and fear. 
he also created false evidence, <laughs> marking the victims' faces with a cross, making everyone believe Diana was the real culprit. Their arrogance led them to their end. I just made it come sooner. <laughs> you cold-blooded monster! You will pay for your actions! <laughs> Why? Why are you? This tab can't defeat me! The weak and controllable Diana had transformed into someone incredibly strong. Being buried with Alex, she absorbed the serpent's spirit within him, transforming from a fragile soul into a powerful force. Diana managed to escape her fated demise. I didn't return for revenge, but to understand why you treated me this way. My mind holds no place for evil, only a desire to understand and forgive. Now, seeing through Finn's cruel and cunning nature, Diana looked at him with cold eyes. Finn, I have a surprise gift for you. Right at that moment, a sudden event left Finn stunned and horrified. The Count and Benita, whom he thought were dead, appeared right in front of him. Why? Why are you all here? You didn't expect this, did you? It turned out Diana had saved them from danger by using her special ability. While most serpents had deadly venom, Diana's venom had the power to heal, reflecting her kindness and compassion. Huh? The Count and Benita's presence huh? was a living testament to that. The Count and Benita knelt before Diana, their eyes huh? filled with regret. I'm sorry, Diana. I was wrong. Diana looked at them with forgiveness, understanding that the true one who must pay was Finn. And Finn, you betrayed and killed innocent people. Thus, no punishment is harsher than loneliness and torment. With a snap of her fingers, Diana summoned the power of the serpents. Finn felt his body begin to change. No! It can't be! No! He was transformed into a serpent, cursed to live alone in the darkness forever, unable to communicate or receive help from anyone. But it didn't end there. Every night, Finn was haunted by the memories of those he had harmed. Diana's cries and the fury of the Count and Benita. That was the deserved fate for a betrayer and a villain like him. Sally was wearing a magnificent wedding dress, but her body showed no signs of life. Raven, a brilliant and eccentric scientist, stood beside her, affectionately gazing at <sighs> Sally's beautiful face for the last time before preparing <sighs> to flip the switch. Sally, my beloved, in response to Raven's huh? fervent hope, a miracle occurred. Sally was resurrected, becoming a complete zombie huh? bride. Ah. Sally sat up, extremely panicked upon realizing huh? she had become a zombie. Impossible! Huh? Sally, do you agree to marry me? However, Sally refused and ran away. Huh? A few days earlier, Sally was still alive. She was a beautiful, powerful, and wealthy <laughs> countess. Ah. Raven had long <laughs> secretly loved Sally. Huh? <sighs> but Sally loved David, her childhood friend, and they had decided to marry. <laughs> ah! Aha! Uh -huh. However, just minutes before the wedding, huh? Sally ate a poisoned apple and died unjustly. Raven was heartbroken and risked an unusual plan. Sally, wait for me! I will resurrect you! But sadly, the one Sally loved was not him. Later, David opened the door, ah. seeing Sally's ah. zombie appearance, was extremely shocked. David, please calm down and listen to me. Sally quickly told David about her unjust death and why she now looked huh? like a zombie. Uh, uh, ah. After hearing her, hmm. David was no longer afraid, but he was still doubtful. Hmm? 
Sally continued to share memories that only she and David knew. Hmm. David was moved, <laughs> realizing that the zombie bride was indeed <laughs> Sally. He promised to quickly arrange a wedding to make up for her loss, and then help her find the culprit of her unjust death. Mm -hmm. Sally, stay at my place for a while until I can arrange things. If you suddenly appear in your current zombie form, it'll scare everyone. Mm -hmm. ah. In David's luxurious room, Sally dreamt of a happy wedding. <laughs> huh? However, the joy did not last long, as David did not return, prompting Sally to look for him. Sally realized huh? she was being uh, confined. Uh, David, please calm down and listen to me. Uh, uh, David, open the door for me. Huh? Sensing something wrong, hmm. Sally decided to escape. But huh? it was not as easy as she thought. After some scouting, Sally found huh? a vent on the wall and crawled in to escape. Sally crawled into David's huh? room. Huh? Through the vent, she saw a horrifying scene mm -hmm. of David embracing Mary, mm. her very close maid. Huh? Silly Sally thought I loved her. I only married her for her wealth. Mm. Moreover, it was David and Mary who <laughs> planned to poison the apple and kill Sally. Mm. How much longer do you plan to keep Sally around? Her zombie appearance disgusts me. I've invited a powerful witch to destroy her. As long as she permanently disappears, she won't threaten our happiness. Hmm? Sally's huh? heart shattered. Ah! Ah! She immediately burst out. Huh? Huh? <sighs> David, huh? save me! Sally scolded David and Mary, questioning why they treated her so cruelly. Huh? Huh? David completely <laughs> turned, ordering <laughs> Sally to be tied up. Sally struggled to escape the <laughs> pain. Sally was taken <laughs> back to the same room. She wanted to cry, but zombies have no tears. <laughs> huh? David entered with a wizard he had invited <laughs> to destroy Sally. <laughs> Please destroy this demon for me. Rest assured, with my magic, this zombie girl surely won't last. However, while I perform the spell, no one else should be nearby, as the magic is very oh. strong and can cause harm if not careful. Oh? Uh -huh. The room was left with only the wizard and Sally. Sally, in despair, closed her eyes, waiting for her second death. Demon disappeared! Ah! Open your eyes. It turned out the wizard was huh? a truly ah. raven in disguise. <laughs> the mask was one of his huh? inventions, capable of altering faces. Sally and Raven planned their escape. Mm -hmm. Abracadabra, Abracadabra, open sesame. Grant me supreme magic to destroy the demon. The ah. raven finished speaking. Ah. Sally screamed in pain and then feigned death. Mm -hmm. Sally was taken outside. Raven quickly bid farewell to David and left the castle. <laughs> Sally was hastily buried in the dark forest. Raven immediately arrived, digging to free Sally. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 I can't let those two get away with this. I will help you avenge David and Mary. In the room that once confined Sally, Mary was wearing a wedding dress, dreaming of her ideal wedding. Huh? David, oh? save me, oh? Sally. She's here. Oh, 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 oh. David quickly arrived, but there was no sign oh? of Sally in the room. Ah. Mary, are you all right? I'm fine. I just saw Sally, but it was all a hallucination. Maybe because I didn't sleep well last night. Relieved, David <sighs> took Mary's hand and headed to the wedding venue. Mary and David entered the wedding hall with the blessing.
blessings of many people. Mary, do you agree to marry David? It seemed Mary would ah. agree, but her answer was surprisingly different. No! <laughs> huh? It turned out Sally was wearing Ray's ah. mask, impersonating Mary. <laughs> Moreover, she applied makeup to hide her zombie skin. <laughs> Horrified David and all of the guests. Sally exposed all of David's crimes. She's lying. She's not Sally. She killed the dear Sally I loved. And David called people to destroy Sally. Please don't believe him. I am Sally. But no one believed her. Her zombie appearance was too terrifying. And David had always seemed trustworthy. Ordered a missile strike on Sally, wanting her to disappear forever. Oh no! Ah. Just as Sally was about mm -hmm. to be destroyed, Raven appeared to protect her. Good, Sally, you're safe now. Huh? Raven, I'm sorry. Huh? Stop! Huh? Mary appeared, accusing David. Huh? After David took Sally away, Raven returned to the roof. Freeing Mary, who was confined in the wardrobe. Raven conspired with Mary, promising her Sally's entire inheritance if she accused David. Additionally, if David went to prison, she would take over his entire estate. Initially, Mary didn't love David, only money, so she agreed to Raven's deal. Mary, you're greedy! David, you're just too foolish. But since Sally was still alive, Mary had no right to the inheritance. But David wasn't as wealthy as she thought. He gambled away all of his assets. From then on, Mary lived as a poor beggar. Meanwhile, Raven, injured in saving Sally, breathed his last in her arms. Raven's sacrifice deeply moved Sally. Huh? She took Raven back to the lab and turned him into a zombie. Mm. Afterward, Sally became Raven's assistant, helping him create new inventions. And over mm -hmm. time, Sally <laughs> realized who ah. her true love was. This magical light, I must reach it. Jolene obtains the heart of the stone. Her body undergoes a complete yeah. transformation. Ah. The energy of the lightning allows her to easily shatter the stone. Rewinding time. The sun and rain clans were once irreconcilable enemies. When it rained, there was no sun, and vice versa. But this did not stop the love between the sun goddess Helia and the rain god Byron. And thus, Princess Jolene was born. This caused a painful war between the two clans. Both passed in battle while trying to protect the innocents. Goddess, please wake up quickly. You must regain justice for us. <gasps> the guardian goddess Protesia witnessed everything and decided to take care of Princess Jolene. As Jolene grew up, she became increasingly different from her divine mother, causing doubts. It's not as yeah, no, it's easy. Huh? Is Jolene really the daughter of Goddess Helia? We don't believe it. Surely the princess possesses the strength of her late father. Huh. Jolene is the true successor of the goddess. Look closely. Hmm. <laughs> From then on, the people revered and protected Jolene. Jolene was always curious about her parents. Can you tell me about my parents? Your parents were both wonderful people. Tell me more, Patricia. On her 18th birthday, during a heavy rainstorm, Jolene's powers suddenly manifested. Rain! I like the rain! She could easily summon a crystal lightning. The ink 
ancient curse of Helia and Byrain has come true! Monster! Jolene's a monster! I am not a monster! <laughs> you have the power of the rain god Byrain! We won't accept it! Please, everyone! I don't know why I have these powers! <laughs> Jolene is innocent! Please, everyone! <laughs> if you want to stay, you must remove that power from your body. Another problem arises as the Divine Light Tree suddenly burns down. The Divine Tree! It must be Jolene! No, it wasn't me! Are you trying to go against the Sun Clan? Get rid of her! Righteously indignant, Jolene cannot explain. <laughs> At that moment, a huge tornado arrives and whisks Jolene away. <laughs> the creator of this storm is none other than Typhoon. Don't be afraid, I'm a close friend of your mother. A close friend? This is the friendship ring Helia gave me. Jolene <gasps> looks at the ring engraved with a sun symbol, feeling a strangely familiar sensation. Now that everyone has abandoned you, I'm still here. Consider me as your father, Jolene. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Thus, Jolene decides to stay in the Storm Castle, loved and cared for by Typhoon. Not only that, her foster father helps her practice her powers. Jolene's abilities improve rapidly. She quickly becomes the leader of Typhoon's Yay! elite forces. Tomorrow, you will officially take on a noble mission. <gasps> oh, really, Father? The next day, Typhoon leads Jolene to a barren desert, where the people are languishing from lack of water. <laughs> Let me relieve you of all your suffering. <laughs> Jolene, show your strength! Jolene cannot bear to hurt the innocent. She only scares them. Don't use those weak, useless lightning bolts, Jolene! <laughs> Amidst the chaos, she is drawn to a strange life in the midst of the storms. Finally, the desert land officially belongs to Typhoon. Well done, Jolene. I'm sorry for scaring you just now. I don't want to harm the innocent. I'm just helping you gain confidence. Those who once drove you away will regret it. <gasps> Since then, Jolene strives to train harder. Suddenly, the sound of soft crying huh? stops her. Jolene discovers the wind goddess Ares, imprisoned in a dingy basement. Who are you? Why are you here? I am Ares, the wind goddess. I was scolded by my parents for using my powers recklessly. In a moment of impulsiveness, I left home. Accidentally, Typhoon lured me, then used me to harm my parents, taking over the wind territory. Don't be fooled by Typhoon. He is a deceiver. No! My foster father is not like that! Then let me out, I will prove it to you. Fine! If you lie to escape, you won't be able to leave Typhoon's territory anyway. <gasps> this room? Typhoon often stays in there for a long time. stolen prank me was Typhoon! Yes, everything Typhoon says is a lie. My parents told me the story of that year.
Previously, Typhoon was in love with the sun goddess Helia. But Helia accepted the proposal of Byrain. The goddess coldly rejects Typhoon. This hits Typhoon's pride hard. Typhoon secretly sends a letter to Helia's father, revealing the secret romance. Consequently, a war breaks out, bringing widespread suffering. Hearing the noise, Typhoon wakes up in rage. <clears throat> Discovering that Eris has escaped. Storm God is coming! Prepare for battle! <gasps> no one will listen to you. I was foolish to trust you. I will protect this kingdom, reclaim justice for my parents. Ah! Princess, have you discovered the truth? Let me see. <clears throat> Something. Jolene bravely uses her body to block the storm. This is the light I saw before. She dives deep into the heart of the storm, the pressure increasing as she descends. A brilliant light animates, yeah. revealing a radiant rainbow heart. Part of the storm, Jolene absorbs this energy, miraculously transforming. Jolene unleashes her power, dispelling the storm instantly. Typhoon attacks her relentlessly. Like this? We are with you! <gasps> we know everything. Let us help the princess. <laughs> also! <laughs> with the unity of both sides, Typhoon finally faces a prisoner. We are sorry. Our stubbornness caused discord between the two clans. We should not let future generations suffer our ancestors' pain. Everyone realizes, <laughs> collectively agreeing to let go of hatred. Together, they restore the Divine Tree, returning the light to its rightful place. Congratulations, my daughter. The power of lightning is the gift we wanted to give you. Use it to protect everyone, my child. <laughs> From now on, there will be no more storms in the land, and Jolene <laughs> continues to diligently signal the rain, helping the people shelter their crops. <laughs>